Hey, what's up, everybody? So, coming to you today with the uh, what's next on Sergey Lipinets, the former junior welterweight champion at uh, 140. He now fights at 147. Um, he was my number nine welterweight in the world in the best division in boxing, and um, he had himself lined up for uh, for a title shot if he would have won um, uh, when he took on Custio uh, Clayton on um, the 20. I believe it was the 20. Third or 24th of this month, 24th. Yeah, um, they fought in the main event of a Showtime card. The interim title was on the line. It was supposed to be Lipinets and uh, uh, some Russian fighter, undefeated Russian fighter, but that guy came, uh, that guy had visa issues, couldn't come into the country. So um, uh, he got put in against Clayton, who, you know, I hadn't really heard of him. He was undefeated, but I hadn't really heard of him. And I was looking, you know, I was looking forward to seeing what. Um, what Lipinets was, uh, you know, how he was going to do, but I fully expected him to win against a replacement opponent, but this is why you can never count anybody out in boxing, no matter what, because late opponents can, you know, totally ruin shit for you, and, um, you know, uh, that Clayton, at least for the time being, has ruined it for Lipinets, because they fought to a draw, it was for the vacant IBF interim title, and now that title stays in, uh, vacant until... Lipinets in this guy or the Russian fighter somebody gets the next crack at it and um you know that's disappointing because the winner becoming the interim champion would have put himself in line for uh, uh you know the main title shot against the winner of Errol Spence and Danny Garcia which is taking place in December now whether they would have fought um Lipinets or or Clayton um you know we don't know but if they didn't fight him and one of those guys was the interim champ, they become the full champion. So this was a big, significant fight in the best division in boxing. It was to grab on to one of the title belts and um, eventually, or get a title shot. And, you know, for the time being, Sergey Lipinets is not getting that title shot. So, you know, disappointing for him. But the question now is what's next for Sergey Lipinets? Um, and it's most likely, in my opinion, I would expect it to be a rematch with Custio Clayton. Um, unless they throw a monkey wrench in there and say and say that it has to be against um, the Russian fighter, the undefeated Russian fighter, who uh, had visa issues. Um, you know, I wouldn't expect that. They might allow that guy to fight in another eliminator, and I would expect the IBF to order this fight between Lipinets and Clayton. I think these two guys could probably get down in January, February area, maybe March, and then be lined up for whoever um the winner of danny garcia and errol spence um you know whoever they decide the winner of that fight decides to fight after which you know there's sean porter there's keith thurman but they may have opened the door for the winner of that fight to make an optional defense next either against sean porter or against keith thurman or somebody on that level so in terms of boxing overall that was a good thing but um because lipping yets and clayton aren't big names but Lipinets is a pretty solid fighter, so he hurt himself by not winning this fight. He really did, um, but, you know, he should get another crack at a world title. I'm not even going to run through the top 10 because I don't see how they couldn't give him another chance because he can use the excuse that, you know, hey, this guy was a late replacement opponent. That's why I didn't have enough time to game plan him. That's why the fight was a draw. I didn't lose. The fight was a draw. Um, you know, and Clayton has claimed like, hey, you went in against a former champ and number one contender and you fought your ass off and, you know, you deserve another crack. So I really would highly doubt that it's going to be, um, it's not going to be a rematch between these two. So that's what's next on former junior welterweight champion, Sergey Lipinets, my number nine welterweight in the world. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.